What's up? How are you guys this weekend? Frankie Eyeballs is back, or should I say Frankie No Eyeballs at the rate we're going. I got my Wi-Fi shielding hat on because my hair is a complete mess, and uh, I would need to tame it in the shower for 15 minutes to look presentable. But today we have what I really eat in a day as a fat person. Uh, I think we reviewed this girl's shorts before, maybe even her full day of eating, trying to help her out. But uh, we'll just go over you know, what she's doing, what she's doing wrong, and uh, some slight and then possibly extreme adjustments uh, she can make in her diet. Mochi! Mochi! Hi, say hi! <laughs> to hit to the camera. I can't believe he's actually letting me hold him right now. Like he never lets me hold him. I need to like cherish this moment. Why was I about to say sacrifice this moment? I don't want to sacrifice this moment. I need to cherish. <laughs> he never lets me hold him. Oh, I think he wants me to pick him up again. Oh my gosh, Mochi. Anyways, I'm going to show y'all my fit. Don't say anything. This is the outfit of the day. And if you don't like it, you can leave. Does anyone remember that TikTok sound? Okay, but in all seriousness hello welcome back to my channel today I'm in a good mood maybe because my house is clean when I wake up to a clean house it makes me feel productive it makes me want to get some done this is part of the reason you guys like me on YouTube is because we're a minute into this what I eat in a day video all she's done is uh, play with her cat and show us her outfit whereas I would have already spit out like three ridiculous nutrition facts like if if I take pride in one thing, it's that I get straight to the point. But I'm about to and stay on top. So far this morning, I had like a couple hot Cheetos. That wasn't my breakfast. Look, I had it because. Is she like one of those girls that would be like really pretty if she lost weight? I feel like that's what her face looks like. Someone commented on my video and said hot Cheetos are not gluten free and hot Cheetos are definitely gluten free So I had to show it and then when I had the bag I was like might as well grab a few But now I'm starting to feel like that was a mistake because my mouth is feeling kind of like nah, like I just need some some good food Like I mean, you know her features are kind of small and delicate. She has nice teeth I think she would be a baddie if she lost weight, right? Some healthy food because lately we've been ordering in a lot as well So I think that I'm about to is that is that against the community guidelines now? Am I gonna get banned for that too? Saying that someone looked better if they lost weight? Is that is that against the rules? Make some breakfast. It's been a minute since I've made some breakfast. I'm kinda in the mood for some breakfast food. I think I'm gonna stay home all day today because it says that I have a delivery coming and it says it doesn't come till like 5 p.m. But I am nervous and um, it's a new iPhone. Last time that I was like, oh, it says it doesn't come Almost till two 5 minutes in, boys. It ended up coming no in the middle yet. of the day at like 12 <laughs> in the afternoon and someone stole it off of my porch. But they kept the box. On I could the porch, I could so have honestly just I could honestly just cut all this out. And just start the video now or whenever she starts the food oh now well, i don't want that to happen again obviously also i am on my period today so if i have some weird cravings you can't judge me because i'm on my period i'm just a girl uh speaking of yellow peppers we ran out of the jardinera on frankie strange foods but i think we will make some more next week We have yellow peppers in the in the in the mix. Yeah, on my Amazon shop, we have the the green pan nonstick pans, which I like using. You know, less toxic version of typical cookware. And, I mean, you definitely don't want to be using any sort of cooking spray. They have to use like chemicals uh, to aerosol to aerosize the. Uh, whatever word it is to make it into a spray. Choose regular oil. Much healthier. Ronnie Coleman style cheesy grits. Have you guys seen that famous video of Ronnie Coleman mixing like the cheese in his grits? Okay. 
this would actually be so healthy if it was a high quality ingredients. As of right now, it's still probably better than most standard American dieters because she has a lot of protein in the meal. The downside is just it's such low quality, like crappy conventional turkey bacon, regular conventional store-bought eggs. It's so high in omega-6 and so inflammatory that like you will not be able to lose weight eating this low quality animal foods. And then, I mean, the cheesy grits, like more low quality, non-organic carbohydrates, you know, what type of cheese is in it? The grapes, I mean, I have nothing against grapes. Any any type of fruit, you, want, you, you usually want to go organic though. But the, the benefit of having a whole fresh fruit like this, you know, sometimes the dried fruit can be too concentrated and very dehydrating. So it's not that great for digestion. And then fruit juices can cause dysbiosis because they lack the fiber. Okay, I'm eating breakfast, even though it's getting kind of late. I made some scrambled eggs with cheese, peppers, onion, and then these are grits. Apparently a lot of people are not familiar with grits, which is the thing that we make here, I guess in the South for breakfast. I don't know if it's a thing that people make other places. All of my videos, people are like, what are grits? They are so good. I make instant grits. So I just put them in the microwave with some water, They're already cheese flavored, and I just add salt and pepper. And usually that's good for like a side dish for me. Like we did the video on cream of wheat over the weekend grits is like what corn is or well in the, in that wheat context so they basically just take the corn they grind it up and they cook it in, in a porridge style uh, if you're going to do this with corn you probably want to use white corn which is less inflammatory and maybe use higher quality cheese and higher quality butter to make it but you, you can make a healthy version of everything here Anyways, I had some cotton candy grapes as well and they were about to go bad and I was like if I don't eat them today Then they're gonna go bad. So I made a bowl of grapes. If you guys have never had those I remember a few years ago, Whole Foods had organic versions of cotton candy grapes. They are so delicious, but a lot of times they don't have them organic. And they taste really good. Mm -hmm. I also like my turkey bacon to look almost burnt so you can get the good crunch. Let's taste everything. I kind of just mix my eggs and grits together as I go. When I mix my eggs and grits together, it reminds me of when I was younger and my grandmother would always make loaded grits. She would put cheese, scrambled eggs, fresh sausage, and like crumble it up into the grits. And it would just be like yummy, cheesy, loaded grits. Also the easiest way to make turkey bacon, just throw it in the air fryer. Juicy grapes. Smells like grass. Smells like grass. Most scientific wisdom and knowledge we've ever gotten from any of these girls that ever drank matcha smells like grass yes you're drinking grass it's not good for you <laughs> okay that's good enough for two ounces warm or room temperature maybe maybe if her freckles look more like spots all right i'm not gonna make a joke about her going out in the field and eating grass like a cow but well we'll pretend i almost did water into the mug okay i already have some water I've had matcha about once in my life from scooters. Isn't it ironic, bro? Isn't it ironic? We have the luxury of sitting inside and eating a nice, juicy steak. Instead, people opt to be like the cows that are stuck outside shitting all over the place. They, We now bring the grass inside and eat the grass inside. It's, it's whatever. It, it was okay. It smells like grass still. Okay. This is due about a cup of almond milk. I don't know what's a cup, but I'm gonna say that's about a cup. I have this oat creamer and the flavor is oatmeal cookie. I'm gonna do another little mix before I add the ice. I'm actually excited. I don't know. That type of almond milk, it has chemicals, flavorings, per to even call it almond milk is ridiculous when most of that liquid is like chemicals and flavorings and synthetic vitamins. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Just if any of you guys are vegans or whatever, or like drinking these type of plant milks, we actually did a video on how to make your own homemade macadamia nut milk, which by the way, homemade macadamia nut milk is really, really delicious and healthy. You just roast some macadamia nuts, you blend them up with some sugar, vanilla. It is absolutely delicious and 10 times healthier than anything you will ever buy in the store. I don't know if she's going to taste very good, but I do know that she is very acid. Don't worry guys. As soon as we take over the meat industry and, uh, the rest of the food industry, the uh, the macadamia nut milk will be on my list of products to sell if I don't lose my vision. All I taste, all I taste 
is milk. Hold on a second. Oh my God, I'm probably gonna f it up by doing this, but I'm just gonna try and just put the matcha in there. Cause I literally taste no matcha. It just tastes like flavored milk. This is probably gonna f it up. I don't care. Like it's not bad, but uh, all I taste is milk. She wants At to taste. So she wants it to taste worse. She wants to keep adding matcha until she feels like it's healthy. For next time that I need to add a little bit more matcha, like this one's not even giving green for real. Like the ones I saw on TikTok. Also, next time I'm gonna add like a little bit of sweetener. Also, I would really like to try it hot. I don't know. I just recently got into hot. Yeah, I mean, usually these vegan girls are a bunch of virtue signaling sadists. So uh, they all just put the matcha in like hot water without anything else and raw dog it like some black coffee. I mean, then you'll really taste it hot drinks and i've been drinking hot chocolate so i might like that but also i don't really like tea that much so i don't know look at the mess that i made just for making this one trash matcha crazy oh my gosh i'm about to break another camera what the heck so excited because guess what just came in oh! my new iphone 15 pro max i cannot believe this we gotta unbox it right now I feel like I'm gonna like mess it up. Oh my gosh, I'm turning it on right now. Don't you just love the hell? As expensive as the iPhones are, like if you have one and you, you trade it in every year, it's only, I think it's only like, well, it's still a lot of money, but it's it's only a few hundred dollars to get the newer model. Low screen on a fresh new iPhone. The new charger is USB. This is gonna be so weird. I have to change like all of my chargers. The one in my car, USB-C to USB-C. Like that's crazy. I forgot about that. It's getting so sad. Yeah, I had like a really old phone for a while and then I got a newer iPhone because it was important for my business to like film the TikToks and shorts and stuff only for me to get banned on TikTok. <laughs> So go figure. All the iPhone boxes now only come with literally the phone, the charger, and a sticker that just fell out. I remember when they used to come with the headphones, they used to come with the, the block, they came with everything. Okay, so my phone is like completely resetting right now. But I thought for lunch I would make a chicken salad. Yeah, I feel like for how much they charge for the iPhones now, you should at least get a, a free pair of AirPods to fry your brain even more. Well, okay, so basically I have this traditional rotisserie chicken and I need to eat it before it goes bad. And I also bought this salad kit, which is a Caesar salad. I'm really feeling like I want a Caesar salad right now, but I don't want like a really cold salad. So I was thinking, what if I add rice? This is rice that I literally made last night. I promise it's still good. But what if I add rice to the bottom, kind of like a bowl? And I guess I'll kind of like figure out what else I want to add along the way. And we'll see what we can come up with. Absolutely disgusting. I think I'm gonna save the bacon and a few other things. I think I wanna make it more almost a taco theme so I can dip some chips in it. Okay, now that our chicken and rice looks a little bit more appetizing, I'm just gonna break up the chicken a little bit. I am actually burning my hands right now. Ow. I don't know about you guys, but I, I can't, like, to me, leftover food is completely disgusting compared to making it fresh. Like having leftover rice the next day or, or, or that rotisserie chicken. Like, look, maybe if you were really, really hungry and didn't have anything else to eat and that was in your fridge, maybe you could stomach it. But I would like, as a regular meal, I couldn't do it. I would just have a few bites, be a few bites in and then I'm not want it. I'm transfer over to this bowl just because I feel like I can't put a lot of lettuce. If I use this bowl, I'm going to try and put the rice at the bottom, salt and pepper on that. Time for our lettuce. I wanna put a good bed of lettuce. We love a good crunch, and I'm also gonna add some chips for even more crunch. There's this doesn't make sense because normally people eat salads and lettuce to not like have the carbs, like to avoid the white rice. So this doesn't make any sense to me from any perspective. Of lettuce that like don't look that good. I'm picking those out. This is why I sometimes hate pre-bag, pre-chopped lettuce. It can be very hit or miss. I, I find it very difficult to believe that she would actually know that the lettuce increases the fiber content of the meal and increases the gut motility, but maybe maybe I'm underestimating her. And usually it's a miss, but also it's very convenient. Now I'm putting the chicken back on top. Do I even want to use Caesar salad dressing? I'm trying to think. I don't think I'm going to use Caesar salad dressing. Honestly, I just did this for the lettuce. Yeah, I'm going to save the Caesar salad dressing. What a concoction. For the rest of the salad that I have left, because usually they don't put enough anyways, and I just use the lettuce for this. I did put some salsa. Now I'm going in with some avocado lime ranch dressing. This is like the best. Oh, I should have put cheese. Yeah, put okay. Cheese so 
we were right. It, it tasted horrible. It's nasty leftover food, but if you put half a cup of dressing on it, it might be palatable. It's gonna be cold, but honestly, I really don't mind, you know? Cold cheese is not too bad. I really don't mind my cheese being cold. There's oh sometimes I like God, cold cheese, sometimes up. I don't. I would open a can of corn or beans, but I really just don't feel like it. A little bit of sour cream. I like my salads <laughs> to be saucy. Cholula hot sauce. No, stop! This world. is crazy. Okay, she doesn't look that yummy, but what is mixed wrong? together <laughs> and with some tortilla chips, I feel like she's going to be really good. I ended up just crying. It just... Crushing up the chips on top and adding some more hot sauce. I did sneak a little what is, bit without the chips and what is wrong with this girl? Food. Let's see if the chips add that crunch that I'm looking for. That was literally one of the ugliest bites I've ever taken. I will not be showing that, but this is so good. I love it. It's so good. Maybe I need maybe she knows something. I don't know. Maybe I need to hire her as a chef of my restaurant. Maybe she's got some magic touch of adding just the right proportions of ingredients so it tastes good. I mean, to be f like, <sighs> spicy as well. Y'all need to try it. It's basically a burrito bowl. I'm gonna. Okay, so if it was just like chicken and rice and some vegetables, it'd be okay. I, I, it's it's really low quality stuff. So again, it's not good for you. The chicken's high in omega six. Chicken's full of pollutants, chemicals, hormones, bad stuff you don't want to be eating. The white rice, you know, slight arsenic concern, but bigger concern is what type of water was used to make the rice and if the rice is not organic probably some more agrochemical concerns and then i mean all those dressings and stuff usually made with vegetable seed oils very inflammatory and not to mention you know what types of spices and seasonings are in there are there flavonoid carotene concerns especially with the salsas and then uh the chips are just fried in seed oils too so this is a very very unhealthy meal from a, a quality perspective from an omega-6 perspective it's very inflammatory it's full of agrochemicals. Uh, you know, she added the Parmesan cheese and the sour cream, which might be the semblance of animal fat and animal nutrition, but it's still uh, low quality stuff. Low quality stuff. At least it's at least the dairy is saturated fat, but combining it with this is like a recipe to gain weight. I'm gonna go eat this and probably watch a movie on the couch because there's this movie that I started on Netflix. A few hours later. Y'all, Kevin made me do something bad. What? I mean, I know. <laughs> But in all seriousness, why do I always say that? So we went out. You know, back when I was a kid in school, we had like, you know, the stereotypes. Like, okay, you got the jock, you got the football player, you got all different sport athletes, you got the nerds, you have the emo goth chicks. Now you have like this non-binary, uh, what is it called? Stereotype, you know, the like the weird piercings and, you know, that's that's because my iPhone wasn't like fully set up. Did you plan that? No, and then, okay, so we're in the car and Kevin's like, what are you in the mood for? I said to go home. He's like, mm, and he's like, look all around. He's wanting to get some food for dinner. Like, I plan to cook. I was like, I'll, I'm gonna cook. No, okay, he convinced. No. I said, what, what, what are you in the mood for? And she's like, what, what you mean? No. That's how it really started. Then she was like, home? I was like, hmm. Then she was like, what are you in the mood for? Then that's when I said, well, look around. I'm anyway, out of focus. Show them what's on your plate. Barbecue sandwich. I'm out of focus. Okay, we're back. Pickles? You don't even like pickles. Fries and mac and that cheese. does not look like mac and cheese. That looks like oatmeal. Oh, this oatmeal is good. <laughs> yeah, we got food. We went to Dad's Barbecue. I think it's a local place. Or maybe it's just like an Alabama thing. I think they have them. Yeah, I think it's like an Alabama. All right, his meal was reasonable. I can get down with that. A sandwich, some fries. And what else did he have? Some mac and cheese in there. At least he's enjoying himself. Did she somehow mess up her order by doing some wacky stuff? Are we placing any bets? I think. I was in the mood for like barbecue food. I got ribs. Here is how they look. Somebody, it looked like somebody done took a bite out of this one. That's not hungry. What the f I don't know why it's looking like that. And then I got fried green tomatoes. These fried green tomatoes looking kind of sus. I don't know. They look a little strange. And then potato salad. And then it came with two cheddar muffins. You want one? I tried to do like gluten-free stuff, even though I got fried tomatoes. That's not gluten-free, but whatever. <laughs> and then I got on the side uh, baked beans because what's a barbecue without baked beans? But I just know I'm going to- Okay, it's cool. At least she's enjoying herself, you know? At least she's enjoying herself. Unlike like these other meals, it almost seems like she thinks she's eating healthy, but she's not really. Uh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I, I mean, it, it's funny because like 
her breakfast almost looks like something a healthy person would try to eat, like turkey, bacon, and eggs, but then she just throws cheesy grits in there. Like, same with the lunch. She's like, she does a salad, but then she puts like white rice and, and half a pound of dressing on it. At least, at least on dinner, she's like, okay, back to reality. Let me get what I really want. Be Instead of half this. assing I'm gonna it. grub on this. Let's see how the fried green tomato is. Not bad. I usually dip them with ranch ribs. Yeah, I mean, I mean, takeout is hard, dude. Getting takeout is like the food's almost always never good. Some things are okay, but fried foods and a lot of takeout for the most part, it's just you just you know, eat it at the restaurant. Mm, those are good. You want to try one? Just like whoops. Are they good though? Mm -hmm. Yo, I had some good lunch too. I'm a lunch bird. I cooked it for him. It was so good. What was it? It was like a burrito bowl. Yeah, a burrito bowl. This is our mukbang. The angles are not giving. I should have got the fried green tomatoes. You did it? You should have. They're not giving. I knew it wasn't finna be good. That's why I ordered the baked beans. Let's see what the uh, peanut gallery has to say. I mean, they're just being supportive, you know, which isn't a bad thing. But this reminds me of like, you always have those like fat or ugly or whatever girls on TikTok and all the other girlies are supporting her. <laughs> and then those same girls, when they go in an actual hot girls like photo or video that they get threatened by, they get mad and they talk crap. So it's, it's kind of, kind of ironic, kind of ironic. But thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I guess we'll do a quick actual rundown of the specific, uh, really, really specific things that, that she could change for the meals uh, just real quick. So for the bacon in that meal, you just want to go the highest quality pork bacon you can find, whether it's corn or soy free pork, Iberico bacon. We have both on Frankie's syringe meat, eggs, corn and soy free pasture raised eggs is what you want. The grits, we explained, you know, you can make an organic high quality version with like white corn and use high quality raw dairy in them. The grapes, you want to go organic on the grapes, uh, that matcha drink she made we, we talked a little bit about the homemade macadamia nut milk and whether you put matcha in that or not the the main downside of that was the low quality almond milk uh that concoction of a salad or whatever she wants to call it i mean just get some beef and rice or have a caesar salad or something separate like either either of those things separately would be so much healthier like a legitimate caesar salad with quality ingredients or just beef and rice. That the, Either of those would be much, much better. And if you're going to go with dressings and stuff, avoid the vegetable seed oils and high omega-6 stuff. And yeah, if you do want to go to a barbecue restaurant, usually beef and potatoes is, is a pretty safe bet. Avoiding the fried foods to avoid the seed oils. Avoid the pork to, to reduce the omega-6. And, and the side dishes, again, try to stick to potatoes. Try to even conventional dairy. At least it's saturated fat and not too bad on the omega ratios. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out, whether you are a standard American dieter and you're just trying to make slightly better food choices. Maybe you're just trying to encourage your family when they go out to, to make slightly better food choices and feel better overall and be healthier. Or you're looking to you know improve your diet and understand what's wrong with the current foods you're eating and how to, how to increase the quality. But... As always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. We have all the businesses, all the high-quality, unique stuff available on frank Uh Some of you guys might have noticed uh, th the, only, the only thing I was, and I don't know if it's going to change in, in another month or two of recovery, is um, the asymmetry under my eyes is pretty, like it's really apparent, like my left eye is like more hollow down here and my right eye isn't so I don't, I don't know what you have to do to fix that but we'll we'll worry about that in about two months mm -hmm.